Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today, there's something um, that I want to talk about. I believe that this is a bug. Now, before I go into details or explain anything about it, there is something I do want to talk about. And that is, I like to exploit games, but I don't like to be exploited. So whenever this happens, and there's been some games out there that do this, it's a very very negative light on the game. Now, I want to show you a couple of things uh, to give an example of this. And before I do that, uh, I guess I can talk a little bit about um, Starlink Battle for Atlas. If you guys have ever heard of that, it's got Star Fox. It's a pretty fun game. Came out on Nintendo Switch a couple years back. I am number one in the world across all the races. Halo Wars 2. Um, I was number one in the world for Terminus Firefight. And that was about seven months of practice, okay? I like to exploit games. I like to do a lot of things. Keep in mind, that's only two games as of recent within the past three years that I've set records in. I actually have about 17 titles to my name that I hold either the number one or the top 10 spot in the world across multiple leaderboards whenever it comes down to it. Um... A lot of those leaderboards, however, have been hit with modders and all sorts of stuff, and I'd have to dig through my OneDrive to be able to actually get the photos up to be able to show them off at the time that they currently happened. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples, and then I'm going to say whatever it is that I want to say about it. And I'm hoping to dear God that this is a bug and not intended. Now, before we jump into this, sorry for the holdup. Um, I actually want to get some support in this video, so seriously, leave a like. Leave a comment. You have no idea how big of an impact leaving a like and a comment is on a video and watching it all the way through to the end, the ending of this video. I'm going to make sure it's fast and not dumb long. It's just going to be immediate cutoff and I'll let you know when. Or will I? I don't know. All right. For today's example, we're going to be using German tanks. We're going to be going over to commanders. Let's, um, let's do this. Let's come up and hit our filters. We're going to remove this guy. We're going to come here. Astron Rex. Let's take my Astron. Go to Commander. Let's take a look. All right. So, real fast. If you look at this Commander, on the right side of the screen, you're going to see Trained Vehicle. Trained Vehicle. Uh, excuse me. What is the definition of Trained Vehicle? On the other hand, none. There's none on here. Now, if you were to go through World of Tanks itself... And you were to click start, you're going to go game options, uh, customize gantry. Okay, that's select garage. Oh, sorry. Settings. Okay, in settings, we got options, we got license. You can scroll down the license agreement here and go all the way down. Uh, no big problems. Um, stats, clan, tankers, achievement, and challenges. Right here, there is no way in game to find out what the definition is of this at all so we're going to take it we're going to come back and we're going to take this crew real quick and we're going to assign it real fast to a separate that's going to take 60 gold to do so okay now we're going to put this on the roger dodger this is a really good example of this that's cost 60 gold to transfer it over to my roger dodger now that this is on my roger dodger i can now move him over to the low we can come over to the low select commander we can put him on the low for free. We can move him all around. We can do whatever we want with him. But now we're going to come back in. We're going to go vehicle assignment, change commander. And now we're going to convert this into, let's say, one of my three-star commanders, my SP1P2. Uh, we're going to assign this guy. It's going to cost us 60 gold. Keep in mind, today's going to be expensive in terms of gold. We're going to select transfer. Okay. The previous commander will be sent to the barracks and will be re-affiliated with its trained vehicle. All right, one second. Uh, my firefighter that's on the one SP2. Let's come down. Let's select this. Hello, firefighter. All right, hold on. I have to go all the way back out to commanders again. Oh, look at that. My filters are all messed up once more. Where's my firefighter located? Um, I guess there he is. Go to commander. Vehicle assignment. None. Trained vehicle. None. Assigned nation, China. Okay, sorry about that little bit of uh, critiquing. Coming back, this guy isn't assigned to a single vehicle. However, his association 
is with China. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the low and we're going to remove the Roger Dodger crew. Select the low. Don't enter a battle because I just about entered a battle. That would have been hilarious. SP1, uh, SP2. We're going to assign him now to the low. Confirm. Okay. Now, vehicle assignment. We're going to come down, look at him. Uh, assigned nation is now Germany. Okay. Train vehicle, none. This guy isn't assigned to anything. But if we now go back to, let's say, our tier 10 Chinese tank, uh, tank destroyer, heavy tank, because we're using a low for the example. Uh, we'll make this a little bit faster in all honesty, and then I'll just be angry about it later. We're going to come back to commander. We're going to select low, assign. That's going to cost me 60 gold. And this is one thing I want you guys to look at. Yes, I transferred my commander from one spot to the other, but now there's a glitch in game that I want to go over. But before that, last thing, <laughs> last one, we're going to come back to a German tank. And now we're going to select the Tiger 88. We're going to come over to commander. We're going to select our seventh perk again, unassigned, select him, assign. It's going to cost me zero, absolutely zero zero to put this guy inside of this tank and that's because he isn't assigned to any tech tree tank he is a fully universal crew that is allowed to go from premium tank to premium tank to premium tank for one cost and one cost only now we removed him by selecting a separate commander to have him removed from the tank now let's jump into a situation where this doesn't work and in my eyes is in fact a glitch. Currently over on my ERAC 105, we have Vinny Jones. Uh, he's a very attractive individual, is he not? I think it's absolutely amazing. Now remember, Jolly Roger, all right? is capable of going through Germany free of charge. He can be removed from a tank. He can be put back on a tank. Remember, he can be floating as an individual with nothing there. But it's going to cost gold to transfer him nations. Okay, now let's take my Sheridan. I, I guess we can go commanders real fast. We can remove my filter once more. We can go into the nine slot. And currently, M4A1 Rev. Go to commander vehicle assignments so currently he is assigned to the nation of france and his trained vehicle is the tier 10 sheridan hmm interesting now remember he's french while he is french he is a frenchman he can be actually hold on uh vinnie jones what is your association if you don't mind me looking the ebr 105 he is French. Change commander. Now that we're changing commander, we're going to be putting on Kios with the doggy. The doggy loves to bark all the time. Assigned commander. It's going to cost me absolutely nothing to transfer this. Okay. Now remember, he's French. He's a Frenchman right now. He loves his rear view mirrors as he is in the battle. All right. Sorry about that, Frenchies. But this is, in fact, a glitch if you are so ready for it. Now that he is here... And Vinnie Jones is off. Remember, he's right now French. He's a Frenchman. Now we're going to select uh, change commander. We're going to head back over to Vinnie Jones. We're going to select Vinnie Jones assign. It's going to cost me nothing. So far, nothing has costed anything. We are repeating the same process that we did with the first two commanders with our firefighter and Jolly Roger. Okay, now we're going to repeat the process. Confirm. Vinnie Jones is now back in control of the EBR. Uh, not the EBR. <laughs> he owns the EBR. But the ER AC 105. Now, we're going to repeat the process one last time. Unassigned. Select. Assign. It costs gold. In my eyes, this is a glitch. I put up a report over on Wargaming stating that I believe this is in fact a glitch and needs to be fixed inside the game because this right here was already paid for. 
But because the tank is assigned to the Sheridan, whenever this tank is removed from the crew, it is immediately charged gold because it immediately reverts back to an American tank. Now, there's one thing that I wanted to do that I didn't actually take the time out to do, but because Vinny was assigned to a uh, French tank, we're going to go over here, select him, assign, that's free to do. But now, let's go back to a French tank like the Vanguard. I'm going to pay the money. I'm going to pay the 60 gold and put it inside my Vanguard. Now we're going to come over to the T92, Commander, Assign Commander. We're going to select him, Assign, 60 gold to put inside my T92 back to America. While if we come, sorry for yelling, by the way, but you can tell I am a little bit upset. Now we're going to come back over to the Vanguard. We're going to go Commander. We're going to go Change Commander. We're going to go, uh, let's say, mm, two perks, I guess. We'll put this guy inside of it because he's just a random nobody that has absolutely no value in this game whatsoever. Back over to Commanders, American Tank. Now we're going to go back to our nine perks. We are now going to select our costs, put him on. It's going to cost me nothing to do this now. This is, in fact, a glitch, and I think it is a very, very very infuriating one okay you see i don't have an issue whenever it comes down to um you charging me gold to transfer a crew nation to nation but whenever that character accidentally for instance we're going to come back over here gets removed from a tank because i decided to um what would what would you guys call it a convenience fee because you came over to your commanders and you were all like hold on hold on all right i want I want, I want Vinny Jones back inside my tank. I'm going to select him. We're going to go vehicle assignment. We're going to come back over to the ERAC 105. We're going to select assign. It's free to do. Remember, and this indicator right here popped up with our vehicle crews that were not trained anywhere. Okay. They were trained nowhere. Anywhere. This, this is the only occurrence that this now pops up. Okay. We're going to hit continue. All right. And guess what just happened? Back to commanders. All right. All of a sudden, now I want to bring this guy back to the French because I'm playing my French tanks. He is a Frenchman right now. And guess what I have to do? To put him back in a French tank, which I already paid for, I got to spend another 60 gold to do it. Wargaming, I hope to God this is a bug. Because if it is not a bug, this is in fact a malicious exploit that you are performing on your own customer base and your player base. This is BS and you know it. And I just showed it off complete BS. Whenever it comes down to a vehicle assignment being assigned to a nation because you decided to put it inside of a tech tree tank. For instance, if we come back over to the EBR 105, select the crew. We're going to go down the cost one more time. We're going to select it. Assign. It's going to cost me 60 gold. Okay, no problem. But now here's the best part. We're going to put Vinny Jones back inside this tank. But we're not. We're going to come down the vehicle assignment. And now... In vehicle assignment... EBR 105. The way to prevent this glitch from happening is to make sure that your commander has a tank in the nation. And I am upset at the fact that I had to spend gold to demonstrate this. I'm not asking for a refund, but the reason why I'm bringing this up like I am right now is because this is in fact taking money. Each time that this happens, it takes money. Every single time that you decide to pay the convenience fee of 60 gold to swap your commander out for a different commander, but then you didn't realize that commander had his main tank in a different nation. Because if we go ahead and we do this, let's um, let's put him back in American tank because apparently it's an American crew. Uh, back inside the Sheridan. We're going to select the Sheridan and it's going to cost me another 60 gold. But here's the part that blows me away. Now that he is American, let's go back down the French tier eight, tier nine as well. Remove it. We're going to come back. We're going to go assign vehicle. We're going to pay this to me. Whenever I read this screen specifically. There are a lot of things on this screen that give me a lot of detail. All right. Whenever it says like back to your previously trained vehicle, whenever it pops up with that secondary screen warning you, what is your previously trained vehicle? Your previous trained vehicle by a standard person interpretation of that is going to be, oh, the last tank it was in. 
because that's the vehicle it was trained in. Okay, not the fact that whenever you pay your 60 gold, what does it say? Different nation. You are paying to transfer to a different nation. That is the gold price and the gold value of this entire ordeal. Now, some of you are probably sitting here already like, wow, you are seriously angry. You are right. I am angry because rather than going out of their way and saying things, I have hello. Um, as mentioned, this is not a bug. Please refer to the above or the game guide where it conveys all of this. OK. Let's take a look at that. Now, while on the actual Wargaming website and while I have my little uh, market board open, let's go ahead and zoom in because for whatever reason, Wargaming wants to have their site super zoomed out. How to recruit a commander. Oh, super useful. While a commander, uh, tab and select recruit. Choose the commander you want to recruit from the available, from those available. And they all look the same because we don't have 2D commanders that you can actually have a variety of and have randomized ones. That way you don't have your OCD going off because you have multiple. How to assign a commander. Not worried about this. What I'm worried about is what is further down. So right here, showing off to choose which tank you want to assign the commander to. They're showing off a tech tree tank right here. And this is what we're looking at. Okay. And they're showing off a tech tree tank. This is very, very specific. Um, you can assign a commander to any tank of any nation. The first thing that they say right off the bat, a commander's first assignment is free. That is correct. It is free across the board, especially whenever you remove them from the tank from a separate nation. You can take those freebie commanders that do not have a tank associated with them and you can transfer them anywhere that you want to. That's legitimate. So the cool part about this one right here, a commander's first assignment is free. Now I will critique wargaming in multiple ways. Um, but one of the coolest factors of this, and I, I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt here. We're going to go back to Germany real fast. I'm going to pause, make this quick. Okay, I swapped out my crew in the low. Coming back to my T-57 Heavy right now, and here's going to be the cool part. We're going to select this. We're going to go over to Vinny, now we'll, uh, Jolly Roger, which is assigned to the Yag Tiger 80. Because I am a Muppet. Okay, it's going to cost 60 gold. So the thing is, is that right now he's assigned to a nation. Now we're going to remove him from that nation. I actually completely selected the wrong guy. Am I done being a Muppet? I think I'm done being a Muppet. I'm, I'm a little bit angry, so I'm going through this a little bit too fast. Um, so now we're back on our T-57. Now I unselected uh, Jolly Roger. He is not assigned to anything now. He's completely unassigned. But whenever we select him... Um, in in this current screen, can you tell what vehicle he's assigned to? Can you tell what nation he's associated with? I can't tell. Hold on. Okay, so now the moment that Jolly Roger was removed from the tank, he is no longer assigned to a nation and he no longer has a trained vehicle because he hasn't yet been put on a nation. So if we take Jolly Roger now, we head over to the uh, M47 Iron Army, assign commander. We're going to select this assign. It's now free. This is kind of an abusive factor. If you have a premium commander, not exactly a three-star hero commander, um, if you have a commander that's unassigned to a nation, you simply kick them out of the tank and it's a freebie swap everywhere. So this is also a glitch that we're gaming. You can also fix this too. But now we're going to do this. We're going to come over, select our T-57. And the thing is, this freebie still applies. I am allowed to transfer this guy to this tank now because it's free because it's the first assignment. Thing is that first assignments don't apply to premium tanks. So if you guys want to, you can have unlimited first assignments if you do this correctly. But just remember, I don't even abuse that myself because a lot of my commanders are assigned to a nation. I have a couple that I'm training specifically. So it's like you have to go through this whole process to do that. And you have to keep track of the commander. There's no point. Just Wargaming know that assigned tanks is absolute BS. I think it's dumb. Anyways, back to the website, because I am angry. Anyways, Commander, first assignment is free, as we just demonstrated free. Reassigning Commander to a standard non-premium tank will cost silver or gold. However, returning to the last non-premium tank occupied by the Commander is free. Okay, so hold on. Reassigning a Commander to a standard non-premium tank will cost silver or gold. However, returning the last non-premium tank occupied by the commander is free. Hold on a minute. Because this, this is the part where it gets funny. I assigned a random commander to my T-32. This guy has got one perk. 
It's all he's got. We're going to come over, go to Commander. Um, okay. The thing is, the last time I checked, as I'm looking at this, vehicle assignment, this is the only way to transfer. But he is currently in an American tank, and you guys remember, we tried to transfer our last commander to a premium tank of the same nation that the commander was associated with. But you see, there's all these extra minuscule tasks that you have to complete to be able to, like, solve this magical puzzle of wargaming shenanigans, which is called, you need to move your commander inside this tank, then you need to move him over to this tank, then you have to put him back inside that tank, and then, congratulations, you did it for free. Instead of literally legitimately just free swap, there's an entire process to do it. So now we're going to head back. I'm going to hold discharge commander because guess what? Oh, discharging this commander will permanently remove it from your account. Your refund, 250,000. I'll actually take that. Thank you, good sir. Um, by the way, that's a press hold and click. Now, uh, back in the day when 6.0 first got released, I actually lost a Polish nine perk crew to tap tap because they had to change the programming of the game, and then they never gave me a new 9 perk commander. They simply just gave me the finger. Um, originally, I was going to wear a shirt that says F around and find out, but you see, I don't find that to be appropriate for YouTube, so I'm wearing um, some Batman stuff, because it seems more appropriate. So, back to this. Whenever you're looking at a crew, there is no remove from tank option. Whenever you have a crew that you're looking at T-77, we're going to come here. We're going to go commander. You have vehicle assignment that you can select. Now you can transfer. But the thing is, if you transfer to the same nation that the original tank is from or the crew is from, you have to specifically select the tank that it is trained in specifically. That's an extra step that shouldn't be there. Um, I think that's dumb. And as hence a glitch because it is it's an inconvenience. And so you're paying the gold for the convenience cost. Um, now, brain fart, back to the desktop. Assign commanders to a premium tank of the same nation is free. So the cool part about this is, this is the first second, the first set of notes, second set of notes. Uh, selecting a new tank you wish to assign your commander to, um, reassigning commanders, silver, different. All right, so here we go. Additionally, if you are transferring your commander to a, a tank of a different nation, there will be a gold fee on top of a silver fee. You're right. The thing is, I already paid that gold fee and that silver fee. But the thing is, if you were to go back through this video, all the way to the very beginning to now, where does it say you're going to get screwed over gold if you unequip this commander? We did it with two commanders that were not assigned to any vehicle in the game. They were never punished. But because I played a, a commander inside of a tech tree tank, it is now assigned to that tech tree. People play this game and they assign things in places that they want it to go to. So, for instance, you take your commander, you put him inside of a premium tank, you put him inside the tech tree tank as well to help avoid this glitch. It is the one way to prevent it. That way, if you ever accidentally take your tank and you come over, you go commanders and you select a random, random commander and you come over and you click this and it says first assignment free transfer. And then the secondary screen right here that pops up, I will remove myself out of the way. The previous commander will be sent to the barracks and will be reaffiliated with its trained vehicle. But you see, this is counterintuitive to the subject because whenever we come back over and we come underneath and we go back, back even more, and we go Russia and we go here, we select this and we now we take the I-6, we come back over to commanders and then we come, ooh, hammer, perfect, perfection, 60 gold. The thing is, you're not paying to transfer the tank. You are paying to transfer to a different nation. So now your association is Russia, but the tank that you were in originally was German. The moment you log into a tech tree tank with any crew, this glitch can occur. And it's a very specific one. The only reason why I'm covering it, though, is because I've done it for 60 gold. I've did it multiple times throughout this video because I'm irritated about it and I don't really care if I spend the gold to explain it and show it off. My problem is this. It is malicious it is a malicious exploit provided by wargaming and the only way they can prove me otherwise is admitting 
that this is in fact a bug and it needs to be fixed because if I've done it, that means some other people have done it. Here's the best part. That is 60 gold. Let's say our player base is 75,000 players and let's say every single person has done that. What is 75,000 times 60? So real fast, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go 75,000 players. We're just gonna say that's the average numbers times by 60 gold per player. We're gonna hit enter 4.5 million. Okay, now let's divide this by 25,000 because that's 25,000 gold. We're gonna take it uh, 180 uh, times by 100 and local tax, by the way, $6. And you know what? We'll say, what is it like 42 cents? All right. That is 19,155 and six cents, 60 cents. For gaming, I didn't realize each time that I accidentally made a mistake in this game that my gold went into a black hole. And the only thing I got back was wondering if the unicorn was still there. Because... That's all this is. Anyways, guys, thanks for jumping in. Thanks for hearing me rant about this. You can tell that I'm extremely upset about it because I am. Also, it is hot. Drink a lot of water. Uh, today, you can say whatever you want. I've had about 190 ounces because I worked next to a couple of ovens. And I also got this giant. I fell on a ladder and falling on the ladder wasn't fun because it did that. Ow. Anyways. I don't show my feet off much on YouTube. So whatever you do, please don't take a pic of that one. Till next time, I'm out of here. And I'm very upset about this.